All right, Rico. You need to write a fancy intro theme so you can start catching up with that Philip the Frankel guy. Let's see. Oh, I know. Uh, thank you for being a friend. Oh, that's a good start. Travel down the road and back again. Mm-hmm. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Wait. That's just the Golden Girls theme. Ugh. Maybe I should lay off the binge drinking of Metamucil. I know the truth. You know what I just realized? Hey, where is it? This is the Rico the Puppet Show with Rico the Puppet. Hello, everyone. I'm Rico the Puppet. And this week, I'm just going to just jump right into this week's episode. You see, because I was reading this article on Vulture. Is it .net? .org? Is it a GeoCities page? Anyways, some sort of culturally informed vulture has a website, and on it they have been discussing what is the greatest TV drama of the last 25 years. Well, you know, I looked at the contenders, and I was appalled at what I saw. It's like they were making up names of shows. You know, like Breaking Bad? More like... Making bad TV names. Or, uh, Mad Men was another one. More like bad TV name. Oh, man. That's like the best I got. Anyways, so I decided to make my own list of the best TV dramas of the last 25 years. So, let's just get right to it. Number three is according to Jim, filled with so many episodes of a man trying to cut corners and wrestle with being a father and an idiot. What? That was supposed to be a comedy? But I never laughed once. Well, I just assumed the audience laughing was some sort of avant-garde commentary on the tragedy of this guy's pathetic shallow character. My number two best drama of the last 25 years is the static on channels that you don't have. Well, technically it's not a show per se, but I, when I stare into it, I find myself realizing that my life is filled with a loud barrage of noise and nonsensical images, and that I will forever be trapped until I get Netflix. Haunting. Finally, the best drama on TV in the last 25 years is The Sopranos. You didn't see that one coming, did you? I don't really understand a bunch of it. Like, why did it just cut to a black screen right at the end? Oh, maybe it was simply that even the mob had been hit hard by the trying economic times and they ran out of money right before they came up with an ending. Also, Tony talked funny, so that makes any drama way better. It is now time to check out this week's comment of the week, which has been a total bust the last couple of times. <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Comments? Th there are actually comments? I mean, yes. I'm a professional expecting to see comments. Well, let's see. Oh, I like this one. Pirate Rico needs to be a thing from... And I am 22. Well, that's a little bit of a short-sighted name. I mean, you'll only be 22 for one year. Anyways, she was referring to my impersonation of internet pirates who steal internet money from internet trading vessels. Yar, give me your YouTube gold! But I wonder what she means by saying it should be a thing. Like, does she mean it should be one of those internet memes? Like one of those pictures that are reused and the same joke is told a million times over. Or, perhaps she means that I should become an internet pirate. Oh, I think I'd be pretty good at that. And it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world here on the internet. Excuse me for a moment. Give me all your internet money! 
Great! Oh no! I forgot to take the money! Curse you, X Freya Bob's X, for your compelling musical performance that distracted me! We are now at the close of this week's Rico the Puppet Show. I thought we'd close out with the new theme I came up with. I hope you like it! Thank you for being a viewer. Hit the refresh button and watch again My shirt has blue You're a gal and competent And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would save the biggest piece of pot for me And the card I'd give would say Thank you for getting more rain. Oh, wait. That was still just the opening to the Golden Girls. How did I get so far in the editing and not notice that? What am I going to do? Wait! The internet! Alright, internet! Please make me a video response to this video with your proposed theme and maybe I'll use it! and reap the benefits. I mean, give you credit. Perhaps you can get a little band together or make a sprawling orchestra arrangement with lightning sound effects. Oh, or maybe you don't have any musical talent and you're like, well, that's racist against me and my non-musicalness. Well, don't worry. You could just make a dubstep version. Take my audio, and just run like a sputtering lawnmower over top of it, and then spin it in a club somewhere. All right, I think that's it for this episode of Rico the Puppet Show. Remember to tip your waiters, and but don't tip cows. Although I don't really know what to do if your waiter is a cow. Etiquette rules are a little blurry in that situation. Well, see you later.